Donations are pouring in for the family of Justin Crumbaugh. He's the Instacart driver killed Monday inside the Richland Fred Meyer. CAFKV's Emily Goodell spoke to the woman who created the GoFundMe. She says his family has been overwhelmed by support, especially from Instacart and its employees. There's no words except thank you. Thank you for finding it in your heart to donate to this family. Samantha Stecker started the GoFundMe with a goal of raising $20,000 to help Justin Crumbaugh's family in their time of need. I didn't want the family to have to worry about the cost or funds to lay their loved one to rest. Now the total is up to more than $100,000, partly thanks to Instacart, which donated $50,000 and put out a statement Wednesday evening to shoppers and customers expressing their condolences and linking to the GoFundMe page. It was unexpected. You don't see a lot of companies willing to do that. When I saw that, I cried. Krista, Justin's sister, she, she was shaken literally shaking. The message prompted Instacart shoppers from thousands of miles away to start making their own donations. The money will help the family to pay for the funeral and make ends meet in the meantime. Krista, she's an employee at Fred Meyer. Who knows when she's going to be able to go back in that store. So it's going to help with costs of being out of work and having the time to grieve. I just want people to know that their donations, their prayers, everything, it is appreciated more than anybody will know. The continued support, the messages I receive to go to the family, it's all appreciated. And I speak on behalf of the family and myself. Thank you so much. Emily Goodell, Cap Cave U, Local News. Now, Instacart is also providing the family with a year of free groceries and access to mental health support if they want it. It's also getting them connected with their shopper injury protection insurance provider for additional help.